Soviet Russian heavy transport helicopter Mil Mi-26 Halo is the world's largest and most powerful mass-produced helicopter. Modified for civilian and military use, this massive flying machine is an extraordinary power lifter, packed with an array of sophisticated features for surveillance, combat and rescue missions in the most severe conditions. The Halo is strong and fast with a long range, making it a formidable asset in the war arena and a highly versatile aircraft for peacetime operations too. Let's explore the intriguing history of this unique feat of aviation innovation from the Cold War era. MI-26, an unrivaled heavyweight lifter. The MI-26, nicknamed Halo by NATO, is a Soviet-Russian twin-turbine heavy-lift transport helicopter. Since its adoption into service with the Soviet Air Force in the early 1980s, the Cold War era MI-26 has so far been the largest and most powerful helicopter to have ever gone into serial production anywhere in the world. Work began on developing the Halo helicopter in the early 1970s. The new design was required to have an empty weight of less than half its maximum takeoff weight. The helicopter was designed by Marat Tishchenko, a protege of Mikhail Mil, the founder of the OKB329 design firm. Tishchenko's goal was to create a helicopter with a load capacity double that of any other aircraft on the market at the time. The MI-26 was intended to replace its predecessors, the MI-6 and MI-12 heavy lift helicopters, and serve as a workhorse for military and civilian use. It has twice the cabin capacity and payload of the MI-6, which was at the time the world's largest and fastest production helicopter. The MI-26's primary mission was to ferry military equipment to isolated regions, such as 13-ton amphibious armoured personnel carriers and mobile ballistic missiles, after they'd been delivered by military transport planes like the Antonov AN-22 or Ilushin IL-76. Developing the MI-26 The MI-26 was designed by engineers at the Mil Moscow helicopter plant in Russia. The first MI-26 Halo prototype flew on December 14, 1977 and was first displayed at the Paris Air Show in 1981. In 1982, Russian squadrons received their first Halos, which were not fully operational until 1983. In 1986, India became the first country to purchase a Halo, and the helicopter has been sold to nearly 20 countries since then, with a price tag of between 10 and 12 million dollars. MI-26 Features The Halo can carry two combat vehicles weighing just under 10 tons each, which is the same mass of cargo that a domestic C-130 transport plane can carry. With the rear ramp closed, the cargo compartment is 12 meters long and 3.2 meters wide, with a minimum ceiling height of 2.9 meters, making it spacious enough to haul up to 90 combat-equipped infantry and 60 medical stretchers with staff, which weighs in at just over 44,000 pounds of cargo. However, the Halo has been known to carry up to 150 troops at a time. Besides the copious interior, the Halo's powerful lift capabilities mean she can be used to carry heavy construction equipment to locations otherwise inaccessible, even to short takeoff and landing aircraft. Inside the MI-26 cockpit The Halo is flown by a crew of five, comprising the pilot, a co-pilot, a flight engineer or loadmaster, a flight technician and dedicated navigator. The flight deck and cabin are fully air-conditioned, but only the flight deck is pressurised to optimise visibility. The pilot and co-pilot sit next to each other at the front end of the cockpit control panel. The seats for the flight engineer and navigator are built onto the back of the pilot's seat. The helicopter's cockpit cabin is positioned well forward in the design, overlooking a short, rounded nose cone assembly giving the pilot superb visibility from the cockpit. The crew enter and exit through sliding side doors and cargo is loaded on a powered loading ramp at the rear, which opens at the base of the tail section. The Halo's landing gear is a non-retractable tricycle type with two steerable nose wheels. 
A versatile arrangement of hydraulic crane and ladders allow the crew to load cargo from precarious surfaces through the rear doors in the tail fuselage. The takeoff weight is displayed on the main gear shelf on the backside of the flight engineer's seat through a sensor or electronic device. To make loading through the back door easier, the main gear can be hydraulically adjusted. This adjustable feature is especially helpful for adapting to landings on different surfaces. Access to the rear cargo loading door is unobstructed thanks to the Halo's retractable tail skid. And a hatch on the underside of the fuselage opens to reveal a cargo sling to transport cargo by hanging it under the helicopter. The sling is connected to an internal winch that runs parallel to the rotor's main shaft. CCTV cameras allow the crew to monitor the load beneath the aircraft. The Halo was the first helicopter to successfully fly with an eight-blade main rotor, driven by a pair of Lotarev power plants, which helped the helicopter become a proven performer in military and civilian roles, serving excellently in humanitarian relief efforts with her superior supply delivery capabilities. The Halo's innovative rotor design combines the main rotor blades measuring 32 meters in diameter with a five-bladed tail rotor mounted on the vertical tail fin and facing starboard. The rotors are made from composites and aluminium alloys with a titanium leading edge. Titanium is also used for the main rotor head and the tail rotor head. The flying controls are hydraulically boosted and include a redundant autopilot and stability augmentation system. MI-26 Avionics The gigantic Halo is powered by twin ZMKB Progress Lotarev D136 series turboshaft engines, each producing around 11,400 shaft horsepower. The engines are installed atop the cargo hold section of the fuselage, abaft the flight deck, and an engine load sharing system means the Halo can stay aloft even if one of the engines fails although much would depend on the mission and cargo weight. The engine bays are made from titanium for fire protection. The main gearbox casing is made of stamped aluminium. Developing the Halo's main gearbox was a unique engineering accomplishment. Weighing about 3,600 kilograms or just over 8,000 pounds, the gearbox is relatively light but can absorb up to 14,700 kilowatts of power. Mill's regular gearbox supplier weren't able to design such a gearbox, so development of the VR26 transmission was handed to the Mill Design Bureau instead. MI-26 Aircraft Performance The Halo has a top speed of 185 miles per hour and a cruise speed of 160 miles per hour, with a 1,200 mile range and a possible service flying ceiling of 15,100 feet. When in combat, the Halo has a vast array of defences against ballistic missile attack, including electrically de-iced main and tail rotor blades, infrared jammers and suppressors, as well as infrared decoy dispensers and a colour-coded identification flare system. The infrared jammers interfere with the transmission of infrared signals used by missiles to home in on their targets. The long list of tech on board the MI-26 also includes a Grozer 7A813 weather radar, an integrated PKV-261 flight navigation system, an automatic flight control system, a Doppler map display, an automatic hover system, horizontal situation indicator and a global positioning system. MI-26 variants the MI-26 Halo has evolved from its original V-29 prototype to appear in a variety of modern, dedicated and specialised versions capable of carrying out special missions. The anti-submarine warfare model named MI-26 NEFM is equipped with specialised equipment and weapons to search, track and engage enemies underwater. The civilian commercial aviation model MI-26T is a civilian transport version that's essentially the same as the military model. It provides accommodation for up to 70 passengers and is used in roles serving the commercial aviation market, ferrying passengers and goods. The MI-26S is a conversion model which was hastily developed for disaster relief missions. It was equipped with a deactivating liquid tank and underbelly spraying apparatus to combat and assist nuclear disasters after the 1986 Chernobyl nuclear accident. 
A total of 30 MI-26S helicopters were used for taking radiation measurements and making precision drops of insulation material to cover the damaged No. 4 reactor after the power plant meltdown. The pilots had to fly in close to the nuclear reactor, so a filter system and protective screens were mounted in the cabin to protect the crew during delivery of construction materials to the highly contaminated areas. The MI-26TM is an airborne flying crane platform. It has an under-fuselage gondola that is large enough to fit the crane operator and one other person. The MI-26TP is a dedicated firefighting version of the Halo, which can carry 7,500 litres of fire retardant. The MI-26TS is an export model based on the MI-26T for civilian cargo transport. The MI-26TZ is a dedicated in-flight refuelling tanker with a 14,000 gallon capacity. The fuel can be delivered to other aircraft via four hoses or to ground vehicles via up to 10 hoses. The MI-26T2V is the Russian military's most updated all-digital upgrade of the Halo. Some of the most notable features on board include the Weitbusk Airborne Defense Complex, anti-blast seats, plus improved navigation and satellite communication equipment. The cockpit is equipped with multifunctional screens and night vision goggles for night operations. The MI-26T2V flew for the first time in August 2018. Last on the list is the MI-27, which basically serves as a flying command centre. Aside from the militarised versions of the MI-26, civilian market variants are also in service, but often shrouded in secrecy, so exact production numbers are not available, but it's estimated that about 300 MI-26 helicopters have been produced since Halo's Cold War debut. They've served in military operations in Algeria, Belarus, Cambodia, China, Jordan, India, Mexico and North Korea, and maybe some places some of us might never have known existed. We'd love to hear your thoughts and stories about your experience with the world's largest helicopter. Please like, subscribe and share your comments below.